morning everyone. It's a beautiful day and I got some nice food scraps for the chicken. So it's time to let them out and then we're gonna continue with the chicken tractor and try to move the chickens to our greenhouse with a nice fencing. Let's first feed the chickens, grab it and uh, go from there. It's really time to fix this gate, but chicken tractor has birthday, so let's start with that. For some reason, Aria is not at her space, so I'll move her back. Probably there was another hand that went in there, and uh, she is going back slowly, but I want to speed that up. And it's a nice morning eggs. So after some coffee and plenty of research, I just realized that I'm just searching and I don't know which model of chicken tractor I want to build. And I'm just searching and searching and just becoming more insecure on if I can do it or not. So I think the best solution for me to, uh, now is actually just to do it. I'm gonna start out building a rectangular shape and then go from there. I'm not gonna keep doing it every day, so you don't need to be super stable. Uh, as long as, as you can see, go inside and have a safe space during night and a place to lay eggs while they're out at it. Uh, I'm good for that. I bought some secondhand uh, old metal roofing for yeah, very cheap, so I'm gonna use that as roofing. Uh, and also have some old uh, plastic containers to become uh, laying nests for them to lay eggs in as well. I think that's the plan and uh, yeah, let's get to it. but I don't know how high I want it to have. Uh, the idea in the future maybe to put a wheel on it as well and maybe it's possible to drive it along much easier but yeah how, how do I want it to be? 80 centimeters? Yeah maybe 80 centimeter uh, should be good. I build it. I think it's better to place the chickens uh, here in forehand because then I can see where they escape if they're not. Uh, so actually I'm gonna put in some water in there and a little bit of food and then try to catch the chickens and then put them in here while I build because also then I need to finish this today and that's a really good kick in the butt I think so uh, 
Yeah, but it looks looks promising. I think I will do it. So it's reasonable to already put them out there and not have them all under super supervision and see if they're escaped somewhere. This is just for uh, possible to have a shadow uh, for them and they have some food and they have some uh, water. They're all there sketching away which is really excited so I'm really excited about that. But let's continue on the more permanent or permanent shadow. So this is how it looks at the moment. They have a sitting pin. I think I'm gonna make maybe one more over here or something. This stabilizes as more over here as well to stabilize as well. But sleeping pins and nests. And the idea is to to be able to open it up from here and uh, pick our eggs. So so yeah. Okay, so I have a little bit of a dilemma. These ones are perfectly nice, but they're really heavy. And they should be semi-mobile. It's gonna be too heavy. But I have some old uh, cover cloth lying around on the farm. So I'm maybe gonna use that to cut it up and put some aside to protect the hens uh, from the wind. So I'll, uh, I'll actually go and have a look at that. Over here I have some old things lying around. I think actually this would be really good. If you see my old videos, this where I found the uh, old uh, rabbit cage. So it's double use in this one.
think it's a pretty productive day. I've run out of battery of two of these ones. These are pretty heavy duty. Oh, excuse me. Oh, well, it's really, really slow. Uh, so I have one charging, so I'm waiting for that. Uh, I'm gonna cover up here on the side so it stop over there, and then I'm gonna put uh, netting on top here, I believe. I'm not sure. And then uh, netting all around with the uh, possibility to open a small gate as well for them to go inside. And after that, it's pretty. I think it's time to for them to have the premiere sleep in it tonight. Then it's kind of exciting, but a little break now and. Uh, for the battery to charge, while while it's charging, I'm gonna cut up the sides with the netting and then uh, put it together. Okay, so my battery is charged on the camera and the drill is also charging. Uh, I'm stapling. Well, hello. I'm stapling together the netting on the side here, and I'm gonna leave. Uh, a door open or make a door here uh, so it's possible for uh, the chickens to, to enter there. Uh, that's the plan. Okay, it's so a very important moment to see if this one actually fits. Kinda does. Uh, I'm gonna put some hand netting on this, and that was it. I run to a little bit of a problem. And I don't have any hinges to open the door up, but I think I actually have a, maybe a solution. Uh, so the idea is to use to attach this both this side and the other side, and uh, the cat is helping me. And that way we have a redneck hinge. Maybe that will work. Let's try. <laughs> Not perfect, but I think it's actually working. Yeah. So when it comes to collecting eggs, my idea is to do this and then collect eggs here pretty easy and come up with the idea now that I can attach this piece of wood uh, so it's straightened out down here then I can uh, have a lock uh, here so no uh, animals can come inside but I can easily just strap it and open it up so I'm gonna attach this one. turned out quite nice. I'm going to get some straps and uh, yeah, quite happy about that. Take out clean eggs, put them in. Maybe I need to do some on the other side, but uh, can't be perfect uh, directly. Okay, so here is the system. Two thingies released and now it's time to yeah, pick them up and pick some eggs. I guess it's working. It's an okay lock at least. It's not 100% but it will do for now. And I just want to say that I'm really proud of myself today actually because this morning I didn't find any drawings that suited me and I just felt like I, yeah I don't know how to do it. And I just started building. I had a little bit material uh, that I bought maybe uh, yeah just a little bit and then the rest ended up being material I already have, which is always so great to have. Uh, got in here, it's a great space, so it's possible, possible to move it later to other spots that it won't be scratched. And 
yeah, really happy about today and proud of myself. I think this is it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and learned of something or got inspired, leave a like and maybe subscribe down below. And leave a comment if you want to see something more in detail or have any other questions about me or the farm or chicken tractors and so on. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you so much for all you subscribers. You always means a lot for me, so thank you. Have a great day guys. Hello.